Hi, my name is Carolyn Harding, and I'd just like to take this time to say thank you to everyone that came out to the house music in the park on Long Island and celebration for my 30th year in house music. Uh, I, I can't even begin to explain how moved I was to see all the people that showed up. Um, each and every one of you, even if I don't know you, you, you meant the world to me yesterday. Uh, all the DJs that came and, and just shared their time, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how, how, how much I appreciate that. No money involved. No fundraising. This was a three-week throw together, you know, stemmed from the cancellation of the original House Music in the Park. Um, we just had to do it anyway. Um, the original reason was just to have House Music in the Park. The 30-year anniversary is just an excuse to say, let's do it anyway. All right? It wasn't about really about me at all. It was about you guys. And um, you showed up. And we showed out. You know, Brian Cox, thank you. Delmar Brown, thank you. Mark Blake, if it wasn't for you, I don't know. I don't think we could have pulled it off at all. Candace, you and your marketing, you did it. You know, you did it. Thank you. C Boogie, you did your thing. You know, thank you. Charles Nixon Dixon, <laughs> thank you. That's Sir Charles Nixon. Thank you so much for every everything. Izzy, DJ Izzy, one of my co-agents, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You trusted me to bring you into a situation you had no idea what you were getting into. And you showed up and you definitely showed out. Thank you. Miss Sky King, the only lady DJ on the bill. <laughs> You didn't even hesitate. You didn't bat an eye. You just said, can I? And you know, you mean the world to me. You were there at the very, very beginning. You know, thank you. Um, DJ Art, thank you. I might not have remembered you before this, but I'll never forget you now. Um, the whole sound team, thank you. My boy Pat Broadnax, thank you. He stepped in. He's, Pat's always stepping in and just doing whatever has to be done. He doesn't even bat an eye. I love you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, Frank and the Atlantic Pizzeria, thank you for everything. The stage would not have been there if it wasn't for you. And I appreciate every, everything. I know it was a last minute situation, but you showed up. And hopefully we'll be able to do it again, okay? Um, Mom and Dad couldn't make it. They're not really feeling that well, but they've been through this entire journey with me. Um, they were there on the 25th anniversary down in Miami. Um, they were there at the Paradise Garage. I wish they could have been there yesterday, but they were able to see the videos, and they were very happy to see that. Um, there's so many people, I, I hope I didn't really forget anyone, but, you know, um, the breakfast, the VIP tent, thank you Vinny and your wife, and just, that was unexpected. And, beautiful. Thank you. I was asked yesterday why, or uh, what was he? he asked me what inspired me the most in house music. And I was remiss. I, I did not remember to say what inspired me. I, my mind thought he meant who in music inspired me. So I went into you know, you know, Larry LeVan, of course, you know, and all of them, all the house music 
divas and divos, you know, and all the dancers. But the person responsible for me singing house music and still singing house music to this day was definitely my brother Ricky, Ricky Harding. Ricky was an original member of uh, the Paradise Garage and he knew that his sister sang and he wanted me to sing house music. Well, of course, we didn't call it house music at the time, but he wanted me to sing it, the music that was playing at the Paradise Garage. And he's been the main reason that I sing house music at all. And it's actually 24 years my brother Ricky has been gone. 24 years. And for 24 years we've been doing it in his honor. So I know that no matter what, the sun came out yesterday and Ricky was smiling down on the house music that was happening right there in Freeport, Long Island. That's something. I mean, we couldn't even trick or treat down in that area when I was growing up. So for us to be out there doing house music, it's no wonder they called the police, but that was smoothed out and we'll handle that. And don't, don't worry, I'll let everybody know what the deal is with that. But Freeport has come a long way. Um, but they, they still have a long way to go. Could because any time that many people of the beautiful colors that they were <laughs> get together in one place in Freeport, in such a beautiful place, and cause the ruckus that, that it caused. And you know, calling in to complain about the noise level is one thing. But to call in and complain about the color of the people and the type of music that was being played is a completely other thing. These were my guests that I invited to my hometown that I was so proud of. And to be insulted by the neighbor, being called names by the neighbor, that's a whole other thing. Uh, it might be time to start a whole new movement. So stay tuned. <laughs> it won't be televised. Okay. Anyway, uh, I want to thank Tony Kelly for documenting. He's been documenting me since, I don't know, sixth grade. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know he's like a fine line between stalker and <laughs> supporter. I don't know, but I love him to pieces. And we've, we've grown, we've grown together. Um, and I just, I want to say thank you for being there no matter what. I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, I can't. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> Thank you, and I hope everyone had a wonderful time, and I'll see you again really, really soon. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to visit me on my website. Keep in touch. CarolineHardingMusic.com. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.